Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn how we can work with the multiple pipes. So that means if you are having uh, multiple commands and all those things, means if you want to use it with the multiple pipes, how we can use it. I will try to show you with a simple example so that you can have you can have a clear understanding about this one. So for example, let's say that let's go to the ls slash uh, where I want to, yeah here. Let's go here ls slash user slash bin if i try to show this is the all the entire data which we are having now if i want to show it ls hyphen l slash user slash bin if you try to see so this is the data we are able to see it and here this is the permissions which we will try to learn about this one and this is the group and the one these are all things we will learn in the future videos and this is the total number of size we are having and this is all the number of uh, bytes it is occupying right so if you want to get it in a human readable manner then you can have something like option lh then you'll be able to see to 1.7k 27k m like this we are able to do it now what i want to do with this one so this all the data and all those things i want to now we need to do in a such a way that in this folder user slash bin folder we are having this all the list of all the data and i want to extract the top three maximum size uh, folders or files i want to extract it so how can i do it let's try to see so first i want to when i do this one so what i want to do it is so i want to sort the data right so i got the entire thing i want to sort it so to how i can sort it sort it with with this one right so now that means one two one two three four five so the fifth column fifth column means we can provide it using an option that is hyphen k so that means i will use the pipe symbol sort hyphen k and the option i need to give it is the 5 right so that is the thing sort hyphen k and the 5 option so now if i try to press enter so here we are able to see that hyphen k yeah so here we are able to see so this is not coming in a zigzag manner so the data is coming in a zigzag manner so it is not coming in a formatted way why because so here you are having 59k and 5 so we are having some k and we are able to see some m here like these things we are having it right so that means we need to format it in a human readable format so that means we have an option in such a way that hyphen h h is a human readable so we can use hyphen n but those are not numbers so that is the reason human readable format now if i try to press enter so now you'll be able to see 24 16 9.9 .9. so now the megabytes are coming like this but here the last ones are getting like this right so the last ones are getting at the bottom what i want to do here so i want to reverse these all things so if i want to reverse these all things means you can use hyphen r automatically so the least memory occupied the least size files came at the bottom the maximum size will come at the top now what i want to do it is i want to take only the top that is nothing but head hyphen 3 so the top three so these are the top three 24 16.9.9 m so these are the top uh, occupied or the top memory size files so now for example let's say that if you don't want to use the reverse means then what you can do it here so here what you can do it is i will try to show you ls so let's try to write it so if you want to do it means so in the same scenario you can use it instead of doing it reverse so we can remove this reverse okay and i can use this tail instead of using this one i can use the tail so that means you will get 9.9 9.9 .9, 16 and 24 so in the reverse order you will be able to get it so anyway is okay fine so this is how you can get it so now you will be able to see that we have worked with the multiple pipe options so you not only using this one we can also have an another option that is nothing but using the disk usage du okay du disk usage so using this du also you can able to get it so if you want to check this disk usage du so here estimates the file space usage so here you can pass whatever the things you want you can pass it iphone h means human readable format so now let's try to see that one <coughs> so if you try to uh, clear this one control x sorry q q for quit right yeah so now what i want to do it is du hyphen h now here you will be able to see this 56a right so now here these are the files which you are able to see that one so what i want to do here uh, hyphen user slash bin i want to get this one 
so now here you will be able to see 202 MB like this view right so I want to show I want to see all the files hyphen HEA now here you will be able to see all the files and this one is the 202 MB is the file which is showing user slash bin directory I don't want this directory so first what I want to do it is so let's try to take it du hyphen h and I want to sort it sort it uh, so what is that one so sort it right sort it so here uh, hyphen uh, or otherwise uh, what we can do it is so what I can do it is so here I can sort it within human readable format now here we are able to get this human readable format and now what I can do I can get the last one so there is nothing but tail hyphen minus 3 so these are the files which we can able to get it so let's try to so these are the files but here we are able to see that we are getting 202 MB right so we should not get that one why because it is giving you the complete folder memory space so what we can do it is I can re I can take the four and I can take the top three now these are the files which we are able to see now if you try to see the ls also the ls which we have worked on this one so this one is also the same thing only so we are able to see the gdb snap and all those things and here also the same things we are able to see so that means the, the du using this one also we can able to get it and using this one also we are able to get it so this is how we can work with the multiple pipes so this is what i want to explain you so we can also work with the multiple pipes and this is how we will be doing it and what we have did it ls hyphen lh so we have used the option L -H, L -H, L -H, lh h means readable format l means long format it will try to show you and user bin and we have sorted it and we have take the tail command so this is how we will be working with the multiple uh, pipes thing so this is what about i want to explain you so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you